Our science curriculum here at Denmark Road, our main aim is to make it fun, interesting and exciting. So we give you um, an, a, a different way of doing science than you would have come across at primary school. It's very hands-on, you learn through doing rather than just being told and we give you the chance to use new pieces of equipment such as Bunsen burners, you can get a Bunsen burner licence and microscopes, there's a microscope licence as well, just for you to get learning with the equipment rather than yeah, being told. The big difference in primary school science is the fact that we do much more practical here. Our first topic is looking at um, safety in the lab, so again you do some practical equipment, hands-on, learning how to use the equipment, and we move into things like acids and alkalis, so stuff that you might not have had access to at primary school, so we expose you to a wider range of theory, but by doing it through a practical experience. So in year seven, um, you get one, normally one science teacher who will teach you um, six different topics that will be some biology, some chemistry, some physics. When you get into year eight, you'll have two separate teachers and again, you'll have a split of biology and chemistry and physics. But then when you get into year nine, you'll then have three specialist teachers who will be just teaching you either biology, chemistry or physics. And we tend to start the GCSE course around about Christmas time in year nine to give you that good foundation ready for year 10 and year 11. Practical is looking at change in mass during a chemical reaction. So we look at um, the mass of substances at the start of the reaction, we heat them up and then we look at how they change. So reasons for either their increase or their decrease in terms of gas being released or absorbed by chemicals. In today's lesson we were um, doing a practical where we need to measure mass of magnesium <laughs> and um, we had to use the Bunsen burner to um, burn now we're at Denmark Road we can do a lot more practical work and we use the Bunsen burners a lot so working with fire more and we're doing yeah, a lot more practical work and experiments. And also um, we get better equipment here since in primary they didn't really let us use like um, distillation, um, the chromatography paper, the fire Bunsen burners so it's more like exciting. Um, science is very popular on A-level, we have big cohorts because we make it fun, we make it interesting, we make it exciting, but we don't just tell you what you need to know, we give you the opportunity to discover it for yourself, rather than, like I say, just learning it rote learning, we actually let you discover things for yourselves and learn them for, your, for yourself rather than us stood at the front telling you what you need to know. So extracurricular activities here at Denmark Road, we have a STEM club that runs which gives you the chance to do things that you wouldn't normally come across in lessons. So in the past we've done things like making bath bombs, um, we've done things where we make coke explode, um, just by looking at chemicals that you have in your kitchen cupboards at home but in a different way and doing different things like that. We've got an exciting trip to Orlando running in Easter 2021 to give students from year 9 to 13 a look at science in a different country but also going to things like the NASA Museum and looking at the, uh, the Kennedy Space Centre.